That has implications. May implications po yan sa uh, mga negotiations sa ating Pangulo in his recent visit to China. There are questions there. One question. Are we now barred from going joint exploration with other Cayman countries, such as China and Vietnam, under this uh, ruling? I've been trying since last night to get a the substantive portion uh, of the resolution of the uh, Supreme Court decision. Pero hindi pa din na We are pa lang. Press release pa lang. So we have to study that very, very carefully. And with that, we have to tread cautiously in this uh, exploration talks with, for example, China. Kasi, it might be also declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. We have to see the merits of the case, the merits of the decision. Ibig ko ba sabihin ng Supreme Court, for example, when we do exploration in Pag-asa Island, that should be wholly Filipino uh, uh, undertaking um, with this decision. Parang ganun ang uh, naiintindihan ko eh. But anywhere, anywhere under our exclusive economic zone, dapat Filipino lang. Yan ang pananaw ko. Hindi po ako abogado, pero simple layman's language, parang ganyan ang dating ng decision ng Supreme Court. So, let us uh, study that further. But again, my suggestion to the administration is tread cautiously when it comes to long-term contracts with joint exploration with different uh, Cayman countries because uh, the Supreme Court has spoken with its decision on na unconstitutional nga itong joint exploration ng dalawang tatlong bansa, Pilipinas, Vietnam, and China. So, uh, we have to study this very carefully. Um, thankfully, and fortunately, yung Executive Secretary ng Pangulo ay dating Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. So, maalam po yan, makalino po yan. Uh, he can give a good uh, advice uh, to the President. And I would suggest uh, so this is an advice that he study carefully in the decision and really give good advice to the president. And, but, you know, talking about oil exploration, we have many parts of the country where an archipelago, ako hindi naniniwala na walang langis doon sa Sunusi between Mindanao and Tayog Palawan. Napakaganda po ng lugar na yan. Uh, I can't believe, and it's bordering Malaysia and Indonesia. Oil rich. Oil rich. Actually, nakapunta na ako ng Sabah. Nakikita ko yung oil rigs nila. And then the last island of Sulu. Nakikita na. Sabi ko, imposible naman. Walang langis doon. Di mag-set up tayo ng oil uh, exploration deep sea of Sulu Sea. Di ba? Uh, we have other opportunities. I do not know why we're always concentrating on the West Philippine Sea, South China Sea area. We can continue to explore uh, down south. I asked the uh, Secretary uh, Opo uh, Lotili about that. Sabi niya, they, they, it was started, I think, in the night, uh, early 2000s, pero hindi na natuloy because of security concerns. Ah, eh, magpadala tayo ng Navy boats doon para eh, samahan itong mga exploration vessels. O, o, o natatakot sila noon eh. Kasi marami pang abu saya. Pero under the Bansa Moro Organic, no, under the ban, Medyo safe na po dyan, and we can do it joint with the Bags of Moral Government. We now... Uh, uh, Meron silang daughters from the Middle East. Yes. Middle East, but Actually, under the law, joint exploration pwede, and national government, of course, takes the lead, but the Bags of Moral Government will have a share yes. on the uh, the uh, profits, natural, uh, the natural resources, whether it is gas or oil. Ako, naniniwala ko, napakarami doon. Safe pa. It's within our territory. So, ang dami ng donors sa Europe, yes. Yes. Paris, no? Ako, I would suggest that they focus also on other areas of the country. We can also look into Belen Rice, which is the uh, east of uh, Quezon. Walang claim ang doon natin yun. Malapit sa atin yun. So, medyo mas malalim. Pero, kaya.